What's up? Welcome back to another video. Uh, hope you guys all had an awesome holiday. I had to find out the day after Christmas that Steam did its own, like, Spotify wrapped year in review, only to find out that Lost Ark was my most played game for the entire year on Steam. Granted, I mostly just play WoW and maybe RuneScape, but I don't even launch it through Steam, so none of that gets tracked through Steam, so... Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, it was kind of already a thought in my head to come back to Lost Ark, this really was like telling me, hey, you should really open Lost Ark again. So thanks to the Steam Year in Review, this video is why I didn't hit Endgame in Lost Ark. In this series, I hope to play through current, old, and upcoming MMOs and give people a glimpse of the Endgame content. Or maybe see why some people maybe wouldn't get to the Endgame content. So I started writing for this based on what I remembered about Lost Ark from March. I decided to really get a refresher and just, you know, reignite the same passion I felt when I started the game and why I stopped playing altogether. And after playing and streaming the game for about an hour, I found exactly what caused all my frustrations and a couple new ones. And while I was streaming, I did have one of my friends who I did my whole first 150 hours of the game and he even kept playing longer and got farther than I did. So it was nice to get the same sentiment from somebody who played longer than I did. I will preface by saying that as a free game, I feel like I can't speak too harshly about what I disliked, and I really believe I did have a pretty good time with the game as I was playing it. But I can't recommend it as a long-term game for reasons I will be covering in this video. Realistically, the only reason I even tried Lost Ark on launch is because it was free. Considering most of my time was spent playing WoW or RuneScape typically, usually they're my two main games. And I don't usually have a lot of time to branch out and play a lot of other big time consuming MMOs, but this was a special case and I had a lot of friends who wanted to play it together. The biggest backdrop from free to play games is it, it forces companies to find other ways to generate their income versus games with subscriptions like uh, World of Warcraft, RuneScape, even Final Fantasy 14. It definitely supports a healthier player base. There's a great video by Draw Strife Hayes that I'll link in the description about subscription-based games ultimately having a healthier player retention. From what I remember, these are my initial feelings about the game. Right on launch, me and a bunch of friends all got together to try out Lost Ark and grind through it together and, you know, just have a good time. And with what I'm about to say later, getting into an MMO right on launch is absolutely best case scenario, always. The beginning and middle of the game was pretty fun, and the progression didn't seem so bad with tons and tons of open world content, exploration at your fingertips with sailing mechanics and continent storyline progressions. It seemed really cool, and there was an overwhelming amount of things to do at the start. Upgrading our gear and progression between continents wasn't much of an issue at first, although we did look through guides to figure out which islands held the most resources to upgrade our gear and get farther faster. It wasn't super necessary, but it did speed up the process. There did come a certain point, which I think was around 900 gear level, that the odds of getting upgrades were just getting lower and lower, and reaching the next main storyline continent would take a few days or weeks even to reach with their luck-based upgrade system. And by that point, you would either have to spend every day grinding dailies, make sure your weeklies were done, complete this, do this, do that, and spend pretty much all of your time on it, or you could spend money just to be able to keep up with the fresh new content. It was at that point that you reached the sort of soft cap with the levels and gear and upgrades and stuff, that the game starts to really feel like a mobile game where you have to log in every day and do all, all, your, all your stuff, and then pretty much you're encouraged to log off and come back the next day. Grinding was slightly allowed, but the diminishing returns on time spent versus the amount of upgrade materials you got would eventually just become absolutely pointless, and you would eventually run out of your point redemptions to get those upgrades. It was for this reason that even though I wanted to keep playing the game and keep progressing and have a lot of fun and see all the new bosses, because that was some of my favorite parts, some of the dungeons and like raid boss fights, the chance system for upgrading your gear just became super discouraging as I saw all of my progress for the entire week possibly get lost to chance and I wouldn't be able to get any upgrades. So how was it like coming back to Lost Ark, you might ask? What the fuck is- what is all of this shit? Oh my gosh. Holy. Okay. 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 Down you go. During the hour or so that I played and streamed to get a grasp of what I hated or what I liked about the game, I very quickly found out what I liked a lot and what I absolutely hated so much more. I fucking forgot that it takes gold to level up too. 
immediately I was greeted with tons and tons of login rewards giving that immediate serotonin that we all love from seeing every shiny colors and lights and sounds popping up all over the screen. I used up all the upgrade materials I got to try and get a couple levels and I decided to try out the daily dungeons again or maybe some of the guardian raids. And I found out, at least for my gear level, that pretty much nobody was running any of the dungeons that I could run. I'm gonna be gaming really hard for a couple seconds here. Teleport all the way down here because it's so slow to get around. We'll do some of the daily stuff. I need three, I need one more level to get to the next area. Let's do it. Oh, I have a lot of arrested bonus, so I can run this a bunch of times actually. <laughs> Am I not finding a group for this? I'm still in queue, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Nope, I'm in queue. So I can go to the next one, which probably isn't gonna be any better. Moon level two, Chaos Dungeon. Dude, am I? Okay, I guess I'm running solo because nobody's at this level, not a single person. I ended up having to do the dungeon solo on my bard, which was an absolutely awful experience. Bard does not do a lot of damage. They're strictly a support class but at the very least i was able to get into one of the guardian raids and i did a new fight that i'd never done before and i had a lot of fun doing that guardian raid did make me miss playing the game because i really love the mechanics of the bard i think it's such an awesome class and i, I always love healing or support classes it's always my thing and i feel like the way they approach some of their classes is really unique compared to a lot of other mmos but after about that hour or so trying to find lobbies and get more materials to get some upgrades i did really want to try and get my foot back the door to play this game. I found out that I had run out of gold, which is another currency that is required to upgrade your gear at higher levels, which really sucked because I was more than willing to keep playing for at least a couple more hours and see what I could squeeze out of those couple of hours of playing. But after that small like paywall I hit, I, I immediately quit out of the game. I was like, I'm, I'm not dealing with this. While most of what I've been saying has been negatives about the game, I do have a lot of praises for the game. With my biggest gripe being everything I pretty much just mentioned about the progression, the upgrade systems, and all that garbage, I do remember having so much fun exploring the new world with my friends, fighting huge bosses with crazy mechanics. We'd always four stack dungeons, the raids, the monster hunts or guardian raids until they started to get too difficult for the more casual players. And the upgrade system became too much of a grind for the majority of us. Nothing against some of my friends. The mechanics were actually really tough. And that was something I really liked about the game, at least at the very start when everything was new to us. There's just something about overcoming those insane odds where a boss will have some crazy mechanics that you you have no idea what they do, but you're figuring it out as you're playing it. Every once in a while, we'd look up a guide and see maybe some hints of what we were supposed to do, but ultimately it came down to how much time we'd spend on it and trial and error, and that was just, it was a blast for me personally. Why are you, why are you standing there? Go, 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 go. go. Why is he standing next to me? Okay, go twice. Here, 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 here. Okay. Here. Collect, go. Grab it, go. Oh. Collect, 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 go. go. And then here, collect, stay, stay, right? stay, stop, stay, stop, stop, stay. Stop, stop, stop. Go, 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 go next. Go, 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 go. Go, go. go, go. Ah! <laughs> let's fucking, oh. is, let's <laughs> fucking go. I gotta breathe. I gotta breathe. <laughs> go breathe. Get in here, Raffi, beat his ass. He's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have to do the mechanic again. <laughs> Get in here, beat his ass. <laughs> Keep in mind too that while you can just out level all the content and just blast through the bosses and not care about mechanics, we tried to do most of the fights at the recommended gear level, which was absolutely the best way to play. It was so much fun. Before I played again for the first time in months the other day, I was going to say that I would recommend this game to anyone wanting to try it out maybe, but I don't know how far you would actually be able to get if no one's playing the earlier content. I imagine you would have to do most of the daily dungeons and most of the daily content solo because as far as I know and as far as I've seen, there's no incentive to have current players coming back to that content and grouping up to make it easier for everybody. Unless they're leveling alts, which I have no idea what the player base is actually like for Lost Ark. The only way I really see being able to catch up to the pack is just pulling your wallet out and paying them tons of money for the upgrades because it would probably take just so much time just to catch up with other people, let alone doing 
the new content. I'm just super frustrated because I was reminded just how fun the boss fights are, how much I enjoyed playing Bard, and the general feel of the game. It's pretty unique to most of the other MMOs that are out. I wanted to keep playing and keep having fun, but the amount of time and effort or money I would have had to put in just to get back into the pool of active players is way more than I am willing to give right now. Speaking of hard games to get into, I've been eyeing New World just on the side and thinking about seeing what they have for their end game because I know they've been releasing a lot of new content past the initial release date and past the initial couple months of development. I kind of want to see what they have to offer two years later and after I put 150 hours into the first two months of the game being out and I only hit level 45 without seeing a shred of hype for any type of end game, there was no reason to keep playing in my eyes. It was all PvP and it was very uninteresting. Leave a comment down below if New World is a game you would actually want to see me try and cover for the endgame. I didn't plan on doing a why I didn't hit endgame for New World. I do want to actually try and hit endgame and I want to hit max level. I want to see what they got and see if there's any redeeming qualities. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if any of this interests you or you like hearing me rant about some games that I either like or dislike. I'm really trying to get YouTube under lock, keep making videos and do some better streams so I don't have to get a real job. Peace.